Tonight we're learning more about a set of state ethics guidelines that were changed for Oregon's First Lady, Sylvia Hayes. So we wanted to know who changed them and also why did they change them? Chris Woodard has been looking into this story. It's yet another question about the First Lady's role, Chris, really. Yeah, and this one brings up some serious ethical questions. So we wanted to know, was the governor's staff pressured to change those guidelines so the First Lady could use her public position to benefit her private consulting work? We have not violated the law. He was stern last week, and Governor John Kitzhaber is sticking to his story, saying his fiance, First Lady Sylvia Hayes, did not break ethics laws by using her role as First Lady and State Policy Advisor to gain private consulting contracts. We put in place protocols, guidelines, and legal reviews, which we have followed. But now there are questions about those guidelines. Documents obtained by Coin6 News show that in 2013, the governor's chief of staff and legal counsel changed ethical guidelines when Hayes didn't sign the first set they gave her. The first guidelines say Hayes shouldn't use her first lady title in consulting work, but the second set of guidelines changed to say Hayes can use that title in association with work she has already gotten. In addition, those first rules say Hayes could not use any state resources for her consulting work including the governor's mansion, Mahonia Hall. But again, the chief of staff and legal counsel reverse course, saying Mahonia Hall can be used. So the concern is, well, why, why were the guidelines changed and watered down? Tung Yin, a professor of law at Lewis and Clark University, explains the legal concerns here. What were they thinking? Was, were they under any pressure to change the guidelines? At a debate last night, the governor said he did not order his staff to change those guidelines. But these questions are yet another cloud now hanging over his campaign. So I also asked the governor's office, went to them today to say, why were these changes made then? Well, within the last hour, I did hear back. His communications person tells me that after those first versions were sent, the first lady asked for clarification and guidance on certain portions of those regulations, like what we mentioned in the story, her title, the first lady title in Mahonia Hall. The governor's office says these changes are now more prescriptive descriptions. Clearly, though, they are changes and something the ethics probe will be looking into. Back to you. Thank you, Chris.